Saints Row is a flop. Saints Row is boring. Saints Row is crazy. Saints Row is rubbish. Saints Row is a 60. Saints Row is the worst game. Saints Row is getting a lot of hate recently, and although it makes sense and is justified, I wanted to give my two cents, as I'm really enjoying the game and having a lot of fun with it. There are definitely people out there that may have passed on this game due to the reviews, but actually may enjoy the game. But first, I'd like to elaborate that I am not defending the game, or game devs being lazy and rushing. I am however expressing my opinion and experience with Saints Row. You are allowed to disagree, your experience may differ from mine, but for me the game is better than the reviewers make it out to be. So let's go over the hate and start with the big one. Bugs. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't experienced any bugs or glitches, and most of the time the bugs are stupid, funny, and do not affect the experience. Saints Row to me has always been wacky, stupid, open world, GTA inspired game. Whereas GTA takes itself more seriously and bugs in GTA may actually ruin the experience. I find that most of the bugs I came across in Saints Row were hilarious, such as NPCs doing stupid things, cars flying about after getting hit by a lamppost, or your character face planting an invisible wall mid-wing suit flight. I think they fit in well in the game, and you know, it's a game that you can use a thumb finger as a gut. Now like I said, I'm not saying games should be buggy, but I feel like I can have a good time looking past these bugs. Some games have many of bugs that could be annoying and or hilarious, but still amazing games as a whole, such as Skyrim, Fallout. Uh, granted, Saints Row's world isn't as detailed or vast as these games, and Violation should do better. The game can still be fun and playable if you look past these. Now in my playthrough, I have run into one game breaking bug, which I believe many other people have run into too. At some point, my character would stop shooting or interacting with things. This happened halfway through a mission, and the fix was to completely restart the game. This was rather annoying, as I had to start the mission again. This was the only bug I experienced that I would call game breaking. However, I have read that other people experience other, bug other bugs and game breaking glitches. Hopefully, the developers will patch and fix these soon. Now let's talk about gameplay and people finding it boring. To me, I have a lot of fun with this type of game. There are many side activities such as wingsuiting from building to building, destroying telecom aerials, on being a hired gun and shooting from your roof to protect an NPC's car and driver after they do a heist, to being a hitman through the wanted app, or the old classic insurance fraud where you throw yourself in front of traffic to cause as much damage for an insurance claim. These activities are pretty fun to play and are slightly different every instance. There are also plenty of collectibles, little activities such as random shooting ranges or photo opportunities which will grant you XP or extra rewards. I found these pretty fun and I do enjoy driving around doing these activities one by one. Now the main story and missions I haven't finished, however I have got far enough where I would think I can have an opinion on it. These missions are usually pretty fun, taking you to new locations, building up the main character stories and paths and also having the wacky Saints Row stupidness we expect. Saints Row 1 and 2 are my favourite Saints Rows, and I would say that Saints Row is a mix between 2 and 3 in regards to craziness. This is, a fine, this is fine for me, although 1 and 2 are my favourite, I still enjoy Saints Row 3 and recently played through the remastered version when it was free on Epic Games. The main characters are pretty cool too, and although they don't have that gangster feel, to me they're still cool and interesting characters from hearing about Kevin's sex life to doing nerd stuff with Eli and learning about Nina's love of cards. These characters aren't amazing, but they're fine and fit with the game. The graphics aren't groundbreaking either, and the world isn't booming with life, nor are there they, any groundbreaking mechanics. But the graphics and the world do look great, I'm a big fan of the setting of Santo Alesso, and the world looks really cool standing from the top of the building. Looking around, and even the placements of little objects around shops and stuff like that always has like little gags and jokes. And yeah, it's pretty cool. All in all, Saints Row isn't amazing or groundbreaking, and it doesn't do anything completely brand new in the genre. However, it is fun. It's wacky. It's, it's an open world game that you can easily sink hours into. If you're a fan of the old Saints Rows or are looking for a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, that you could just mess about on, then I'd say give Saints Row a try. Simply put, it's just more Saints Row. If you enjoyed this video and you like my opinion on Saints Row, then be sure to like and subscribe. 
if you have played this game, please tell me your experience in the comments. Or if you're looking forward to the game or have any opinions, make sure you smash down, smash them in the comments. Smash them in the comments? You know what I mean. Leave a comment. Anyway, have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've already said that. But yeah, just have a great day.